All right. We finally got a video. 2TM explaining what he did at the Royal Rumble. We're about to find out right here in this reaction. What's up, everybody? My name is Fearless, a.k.a. Zach Sanchez. I got I to gotta get with this already. So, without further ado, let's take a look at this video. Bit of the entrance that's in it right here. No commentary. And I'm quite shocked about this. And I wonder how long is it gonna take for Fan Anniversary 4 to finish up. Certainly can't wait. I'll make sure I fix the audio this time. I apologize. Well that's Back at the Rumble, when that scumbag bash put me through an announcer's table, a blessing in disguise occurred. See, I made a mistake of leaving my phone at ringside with Norm, and that useless plebe left my phone on the announcer's table, causing me to shatter it into pieces. See, I, I was annoyed by this at first, but after the events that happened, later that night. I'm kind of glad it happened because it's just been non-stop threats, harassment, crybabies, losers, all tweeting at me, all claiming to represent the BH Army. You're all a bunch of idiots just yapping away, saying the same thing. Why did you betray Black Heron? Him and Eve treated you like a brother. Why, Merc? Why? Well, let me tell you why. Back at Cyber Fam Day, see, BH and I, we made the ultimate deal. After years of fighting, after years of war, we finally came to our senses and we saw what was right in front of us. We realized that two twisted Merc and Black Heron were the two most decorated superstars in FAM. And you all have to admit, the only time the World Heavyweight title was relevant between Famniversary 1 and Famniversary 3 was when we were competing for it. So with all that, it just made perfect sense for two of us to come together to rule as one, as the most powerful force FAM has ever seen. But you see, BH messed up. He let his pride blind him, as he has done so many times before, and took on the wrong man in Rannick. That would have been fine if he's got that big of a problem with Rannick, then that's his business. But BH, he tried to make that my business. And he did, at Pandora, when his actions cost me the FAM World Heavyweight Championship. If it wasn't for him powerbombing Darren, Andy would have never bad will drivered me and Bash would have never been able to cash in. I lost my title because of you, BH. It's all your fault. So I had a little meeting with Rannick before the Family Awards, where we came up with this plan. See, he would first destroy you earlier in the night, causing you to be the first entrant into the Royal Rumble match, allowing the skilled foundation in myself to then deal with you ourselves. 
we just had to be patient and bide our time before the event to ensure that you would suffer the ultimate humiliation on that grand stage. And of course, everything went according to plan, but it's not over yet. You see, at Famniversary, I'm gonna cause BH to suffer some more humiliation. The ultimate humiliation, if you will. He's gonna be humiliated so badly that he will indeed be the last time you ever see him because he's not gonna have the balls to show his face around here again. I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna torture you. I'm going to embarrass you in front of the entire world. And at the end of the match, when you're broken in front of me and I'm done playing around with you, I'm gonna make you say the words, I quit. And those will be the last words the FAN universe will ever hear from your mouth. So that's right, BH. At Famniversary, you and I are gonna go one-on-one -on -one in an I quit match. I can't think of a better way to send out the almighty messiah of FAM. <laughs> to explain uh, I'm about to just go over this for my review on this one so uh, hold up a second guys hold on alright so let's break it down Merck already made a deal with Rannick before the family awards started which I just got, I have no words. Even though I did not like these two, that was so wrong to turn on BH at the freaking Royal Rumble. Like, that is so, alright. So, again, alright, I'm gonna start over to break it down. Alright. So, back in Pandora, we already know that what happened was that we already seen that back in Pandora, that Darren, uh, Darren got a black and gold power bomb by BH when Darren was about to um, hit on. Well, he was gonna land on Bad Wolf's ankle on a chair while he was stuck on a chair. And you know, two teams trying to figure out like during that time, two teams like, "What are you doing? This is not how we do things." Da 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 da. And you know that's what the whole innocent thing happened with Randy beating on Eve and. You know, while 2TM is shocked, seeing from on top of the cam, um, on top of the Titantron, he gets, um, he gets Bad Wolf Driver, um, he get, got hit with that and um, Bad Wolf Driver, I should say. I'm sorry, and it ended up as Cameron Bash coming out and cashing in Money in the Bank on 2TM. So, kind of cool moment that I know 2TM said it at the said it. Already, but I, you know, I, I think it's best bet to explain to you why he got and why he did it. Um, other than that, now the whole thing, I'm a bit shocked. Now he talked to Rannick. He he didn't want any nothing to do with Rannick's army, and he tried to make it to that. He tried to blame BH that that's he's putting him into that business. No, no one was no one was really putting you in the business. All you had to do was just stay back. And everything, but you, but you, whatever. So they already, so two TM already made a deal with Rennick, turn on BH, come at the Royal Rumble. So they had to buy time before the event started. I mean, the well, the the event match started. That was the Royal Rumble. <sighs> what do I now? Two TM challenges. Um. I almost said Merc by an accident. Wow. Two TM challenges Black Heron in a I quit match. The question is, we didn't see. Alright. The question is, 
Are we gonna see Black Heron in one of these Road to Rum um Rumble? I'm so used to saying that now because now it's like now it's Road to Fam anniversary. So are we gonna see BH at the Road to Fam anniversary with a response, or are we gonna like he he's not gonna show up until Fam anniversary? If he doesn't show up till fan of uh, fan anniversary, you know it's like oh, Ghost has returned and you know made this guy he beat the god and whatever. Now the I Quit match, it's gonna be hard because I don't want I don't want both of them to leave. I I really don't want both of them to leave. But the way how Two TM made it sound like was, all right, if I make you say the words I quit, you're li you're literally leaving the company. That's what's gonna be hard for me, cause I don't want n neither of these two leaving, but it's gonna happen somehow or some way that there's gonna be something going on in this match. Now, I think no, I don't want to second guess myself yet. All right, let's not second guess ourselves. We'll wait till another part of those two guys going at it, but. But, <laughs> see, I lost my words now because I'm so blown away what I just saw right now. All right, so, as I'm saying, um, I know I did say that every Thursday was going to be a weekly um, reaction and review thing because of now FAM doing the Twitch thing. Um, now it looks like Mondays are going to be part of it also. So it looks like Mondays and Thursdays that I'm going to be doing the reaction videos of these. So... Thank you guys for watching. Please remember leave a like and thumbs up. I'm gonna both I'm gonna both tag to both two TM and Black Hero on this. See what they say about this video or maybe if they love it. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, see you guys. Well, see you guys. There you go.